Marriage is a team sport. If you want to win, you better have a great coach. There isn't a team out there that is succeeding that doesn't have a great coach. A great coach can take an average team and make it an awesome one. Without a good coach's wisdom, encouragement, and toughness, a team wouldn't improve. When it comes to your marriage, God is that good coach. But you have to listen to him if your marriage is going to improve. If you want to win, you also need a team that's willing to work together. My nature is to be selfish and look out for myself first. It doesn't help to live in this culture that says that's okay, but it isn't. Certainly not if you want a good marriage. Self-discipline helps me keep me away from selfishness. I can tell myself no when I need to. I can sacrifice myself for others. In marriage, I have the best teammate imaginable. Nancy was designed to perfectly complement, challenge, and encourage me. From the day we said I do, we were a team. Scripture tells us that life is better with two. If one falls down, the other can help them up. Looking back, I can't imagine what my life would be without her. And then there's our coach. Neither of us can imagine our lives or marriage without him. God's always been there for us. He gives us his wisdom, encouragement, and guidance. He has been there through everything. I'm so thankful to have these realities in my marriage. My prayers were answered. Even so, though, sometimes in the reality of the marriage game, something changes. Maybe it's the stress of life or minor irritations, but I can go from being Nancy's teammate with this amazing coach to operating as a solitary person running against the world. My teammate becomes my enemy. I quit listening to my coach. I go from the idea that marriage is a team sport to thinking I don't need anyone. I can do it all on my own. And for just a brief moment, I feel justified in that. Then once again, I realized that that will not work. I was not designed to be a one-man team. God blessed me with much more than that. Today, I don't do that very often. With God's help, I will stay on my team and value it as much as he does. What about you? Do you see your spouse as your marriage teammate? Can you see God as your coach? The bottom line is that marriage is a team sport and life is better on the team.